All right, Joel and I are heading to our local academy to get some very specific lures that we plan to put into use tomorrow. All right, those specific lures I mentioned are rattle traps. Now, everybody fishes rattle traps, right? Probably the most popular artificial lure in the US. But from what I hear, in Texas, they're starting to fish them under corks and catching a lot of redfish and other fish. So that's what Joel and I are doing today. We're gonna put that to the test. Of course, I got mine under my Versamax knocker. We're gonna see what we can catch on rattle traps in the marsh. And we've got a special challenge planned. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. You know what, it's gorgeous. I mean, it does not get any prettier. Now the time right now is 10 a.m. The tide is just starting to fall, so it should be falling our whole trip. Really good range today, and you know I love that. This little bayou we're in, look at this bend. It's got nine and a half feet of water, and the water is perfect. Perfectly gorgeous. Very fishy looking. The rattle trap I'm throwing is called Sunrise Perch. Looks similar to that blueberry perch that I throw a lot in the Echo and SB57. And here are the rules for our challenge. To incentivize us to throw this rattle trap under a cork, any fish of any size, any maker model that we catch on the rattle trap under a cork will earn its captor five points. But of course, we don't only want to throw this today. So you also get points for other fish. Anything you catch any other means gets you one point. And you know, Joel and I always build rewards or penalties into our challenges, and we've definitely got one today. The winner gets his vehicle washed by the loser. And I recently spent some time in Illinois deer hunting, so my truck is filthy. And my car hasn't been clean in six months. Yeah, Joel hasn't washed his in, in quite a while, trust me. Not a high priority to him. Basically looks like a homeless person lives in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yep, time to make a little switch. Fish are not vegetarians. Oh. Some are, mullet, mullet are. Oh, we just spooked a big red. Dang, dumb it. Look at the dust cloud, dude. Look at the dust cloud. I'm not trying to prank it. Oh, look at that, Joel. Look at that, Joel. Look, look at that. Yeah, it's a dust cloud. It's the second one we kicked up. That's a good scale too. Look at that. That's a that's a, that's a keep or something. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's about that's a, that's like right. <laughs> Goodness, that is a baby bass. <laughs> but today, size is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. That gives me an early lead on Joel. One nothing. Caught him on the holy jolly matrix shad. Uh oh. Joel's got one, does he? I think he does. Oh my god. Ooh, that's a nice bass. That's a good off, bass. Did he? He came off, he threw it. Oh look at you, you lying. What? You sandbagging me. <laughs> oh. That's a good bass, Joel. Now he came now off. Came Gave him too long. Yeah. Is that your first time ever fighting a fish? <laughs> oh, dude, I can't work with this. Joel's fishing a 10 pound test, right? Yeah. 10 pound fluoro? Yeah. Man, dude. Was... So he's like really being delicate. He's a good pound and a half. Yeah, that's a good fish. That was a good bass. He smoked it though. This area we're fishing in South Louisiana has bass, redfish, and speckled trout, all in these bayous all mixed together you never know when you get a bite what it is you kind of have little suspicions based on how they hit but you never really know for sure that's what makes it really exciting bass here don't get very big that one joel just lost was about as big as they get oh shoot he's got another fish yes he does <laughs> good bass all right that makes it one to one 
There he is. Oh, 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 nice. There we go. Man, so pretty in this gorgeous water, man. Just, whew, it's special. It's just special. Oh, Joel sets the hook. No. Uh oh, Joel might have a red. It's a good bass. It's a good bass, not a red. Feisty, feisty. Look how pretty. Well, oh, we got us a double. Double! Except mine's bigger. It is. It is. Yours is bigger. I'll give you credit. I'm All right. Done. That's uh. Is that your second or third? Second. So it's two to two. I couldn't enjoy the lead for. Hold on. Leave it open. Mine hit exactly like where you set the hook on the other. Yeah. Well, pot of them. Oh! Oh, Joel! Look at that! Look at that! We got a spot. Oh, that was, you see that yeah. boil? That was a good fish. Let's really mess this up by turning the spot lock on. There he is, he came back for it. What? Oh, shoot. He came back for it. Look at Joel. All right, that's three to two. Joel's Here, up. Look at this. Barely hooked. Yep, I mean, <laughs> barely hooked. Couldn't be much more barely. In order to catch up now, you gotta throw that rattle trap. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. It might hit you. Bring it right down the middle. Yeah, well, I'd cast to the left trying to give you a spot to cast. Not through right in the freaking grass. <laughs> you owe me. You owe thank me. You, thank you, thank you. That's a good fish, Joel. Oh, this is the one. Oh, yeah. It's a good bass. Dude, it's so pretty in that one. Oh, yeah. Five to two. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shoot. There he is. Oh, he came back and I struck him. Missed him oh, again. Oh, <laughs> goodness. This is such an unspectacular part of this bayou. I know. How could there be this many bass in it? I mean, it doesn't make sense. You missed him again, dude. What are you doing? Think we should move on? I'll make another one. One more. Oh, God. I don't think we should move on. Good bass. Six to two. Six, six, to, six to two. two. Embarrassing. Please get it. Uh oh. About to be six Let's see if three. I can land this one though. Man, I've missed three. so many fish. That's a good bass, Joel. Oh yeah. All right. Six three. Comeback is on. Comeback has begun. But look how look how barely this fish is hooked. Look at that. You can see this is just a nothing little part of this bayou. Like there's no rhyme or reason as to why these fish are here. It's the beginning of a bend, but to me, the better spot would be deeper in that bend. And there may be fish there as well, I don't know, but we're catching them just on this side of it and they are stacked up. So often happens with these marsh bass, just get really good numbers of fish. You can just sit in one spot and catch them every cast for a while and then they'll just stop. And when they stop, you just move on and find another bite like that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I made a move to the trap, and Joel is continuing to pad his lead. Ooh, good That's bass. a good bass. Nice fish. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Broke off? <laughs> That's the pitfalls. There he is! Oh, he's barely hooked, Joel! Yes! Look at that! <laughs> yes! Nice bass, too. Nice. <laughs> you know what that's called, Joel? It's called a tie. No. It was seven to three. Do some math there, buddy. I know it's not your strong suit. Oh. Woohoo! You were reeling it like a. Yes, I was. Like an actual trap. 
the way I was working it was just kind of <laughs> easing it along, popping the cork, just making that trap constantly move and shake. And that fish smoked it. Man, it is a beautiful day. Goodness. I'm actually getting a little warm in this coat, but I think if I take it off, having just a thin t-shirt on, it'd be cold. Yeah, it's like 59 degrees. Yeah. 59 degree water, that's chilly. Come on, I need another one on this trap. Pad my lead. I got a one fish lead, one point lead. This little bend looks like just the place to do it. Of course. Super quiet. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. You didn't tie a good knot. What? No, is it curly? So Joel was nice enough to tie on my rattle trap for me. No, the line did, did, broke. <laughs> the line didn't break. That was a good fish. The line did break. The line broke. You broke them off. Shoot! Mm -hmm. Well, that was another one. That was a good hit. All right, so Joel and I both just had a break off. Unfortunately for me, my break off was a five point fish. His was a one point fish. But let's hope there's plenty more where that came from. <sighs> Boy, I hate losing a five point fish. Oh, broke off again? You broke off again? <laughs> How are you liking that 10 pound test, Joel? <laughs> We are giving these fish some body piercings. I'm making a little adjustment. Dude, I've had chances to tie the lead. Yeah, Three several times. times. Uh, yeah, but just think if I got my, I the one I broke off. You have quite some ground to make up. <sighs> no way. Nice bass. There we go. What's that, Joel? 9-7? Oh, goodness. Look how this fish is hooked. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, let's just say if sewing thread was that strong, none of your clothes would ever wear out because it was a thread. Dude, there's a little bit of breeze, but it is a beautiful day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You got a fish? <laughs> I'd say you do. Shoot. Let me know if I sabotage oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Nine eight. Uh oh. Oh come on. Look at this. About to tie it up, baby. About to tie it up. Yeah. Nine to nine. We think. Nine. We think it's nine to nine. I wouldn't have broken so many of them off. Mm -hmm. I would have had this all right. Although I might not have ever gotten those bites. Can't have you win another challenge. Can't happen. That's right. You may not have gotten those bites if you had heavier line. It's right. definitely the truth. You never know. Yeah, I'm going to tell the camera. Well. Make sure you... Make sure... No! Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> it might be a speckled trout. Yes, yeah, so it is a speckled trout. All right, 10 to 9. Keeper trout on the matrix shed. See, these trout in these bass cling to all these same bayous. Always a nice surprise to catch a trout.
a quick trip today, but super successful. Not least of which is because I finally beat Joel in the challenge. If you're a regular viewer, you know he is on a super hot streak. I think I've broken it once or twice in the past few weeks, but most of them he wins. But I finally got the better of him today, thanks to that rattle trap that I threw under the cork. I don't think you even threw it, did no, you? No, I didn't throw it. I should have. It was effective. Yeah, Joel didn't even try it. I caught that one fish on it. I lost another because my line broke. I don't know how, but I could see where that would be a really effective technique, particularly in areas that are a little bit less grassy than this area we fished today. But what I found to be most effective was almost walking the cork, like kind of like walking the dog, like, like you do with a Zara Spook or a she dog or something like that. That's how I got my bites at least. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please share it with somebody who you think would also enjoy it. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marsh Mad Mass on. This is not gonna be fun. You ready to watch my truck?